Hey everybody, um, Grady here. I, uh, I've never done one of these videos before, this, this sort of unboxing, I guess. I just got, so in the last video that I uploaded, I told you I got a, uh, I had a five gallon tank on the way for my beta, and, uh, wow, there's a lot of crap behind me, but it doesn't matter. I've got the tank here, it's right in front of me, and like I said, I've never done one of these unboxings before, so let's get to it. Where's the... Oh, come on. Really? It was, like, right there. No. <sighs> Alright, fine. I don't know. It looks like it's pretty clean. But, uh, we'll... We'll give it a wash. This... I usually use this bucket to empty tanks. And you see a, uh, a dad daddy long legs on the, on the wall of my bathtub here. So, yay! I guess we're gonna have to, uh, edit this in post. Yeah, I use scissors to open my box. It's big whoop. Wanna fight about it? Oh, come on. Ugh. So, I bought this tank. This is a Marineland five-gallon tank. Um, I know a lot of people are like, oh, no, Marineland, it's a generic thing. But it's like, you know, I've never had a problem with them. I don't know where... Yeah, that is a... there's one other thing that came in here, too. This is... Uh, Ought to be the Metroplex. Let's see here. Sorry. Sorry. There we go. Just had to... I can't open these with one hand. I'm not that good. Yep, that's the Metroplex. So that's that's what that is. Um, this stuff helped clear the, uh, the big tank, the cichlid tank, which is right here, of uh, ick. So I swear by it. I really like it. Um, but yeah, as you can see, this is a Marine Land, five gallon portrait, one each. There's the product number if you need that. And of course it is actually glass, which is one of the reasons why I bought it. Um, ugh, if I could get it out of here. So yeah, again, sorry, but, uh, let's see here. All kinds of QR codes. You can scan those and hack your way into, I don't know, <laughs> I just, I know I, I have a lot of hacker friends, and so I don't, I'm not a hacker myself, well, I kind of am, but not, not in that sense, um, so, I'm a hacker in the MIT sense, I tend to hack things together. Okay, so there's there's the box that I was actually expecting to see. Um, let's. I'm trying to figure out how to do this while holding the camera. I don't think there's a way to do it, so I'm gonna have to set the camera down. Um, I guess since we're already gonna be stitching this together, I'm gonna stitch this together. So here we are. It's a Marine Land portrait, five gallon, uh, right size Z filter cartridges, which I know y'all don't care about, but. I don't really either. <laughs> I, I will care eventually, but right now I'm like, let's just get it open. Oh, look, there's, okay, so this, I, I've already kind of looked at the manual on how to instruct, how to construct this, so I did kind of expect this, I kind of forgot. But uh, yeah, the lid just uh, kind of sits on top. It's a glass lid. Part Again, part of the reason why I bought this particular tank. And of course there's the uh, the instructions, which like I said, I've already read them, so I'm not being a typical guy here. I'm, I, I actually did read the, the instructions. Um, so, okay, we've got, it looks like the tank is in pretty good shape. We've got the, the light here, which I'm going to pull out. And we've got what looks like a probably a power supply. Yeah, that's probably the power supply. And so, see here, the other big reason I bought this was the... Uh, the filter system is actually in the, built into the back of the tank, so you've got this cartridge holder, and so there's the filter cartridge. I need to unwrap that. And there's all kinds of other goodies in here. Um, so, again, I guess we'll be right back while I try to set this up. Looky here, we got us a little, a little friend to help uh, put the tank together. I'm not sure what. Kind of bug this is. It looks kind of like an assassin bug, but it also kind of looks like maybe a young western conifer seed bug. Um, not sure. 
I guess we'll find out if it sticks around. So I've set it up kind of on my little, uh, my kitchen counter here. I'm trying to straighten it out a little bit. Um, the way it's set up, it's got this little base on it. And I, I kind of thought that maybe the base would like sit in something on the tank, but no, it just, the tank just sort of sits on top, which is a little frustrating, but uh, it works. So I've taken, I actually have in my hand here, the, uh, this is a water pump that drives the filter. And uh, because this is a beta tank, we need to turn this all the way down, um, like as far down as it will go. And I'm, I may have broken it actually just now. Uh, okay, that's that's a good good safe bet because we need to make sure that this thing is not going to overpower our beta. Who is this guy right here? Look at him! Oh my gosh! Oh my goodness! Look at this little guy! Look at this precious baby! Oh, oh, he's getting excited now. <laughs> he's like, "What's going on?" Yeah, so. He's going to, he, he, you could tell this is a very, very small tank for him, um, but he's, he's going to go into this much bigger tank. He's, I think he's going to be happy. I think he's going to like it a lot. So we're going to go ahead and put this, actually, uh, I'm going to have to set this down because the, uh, the thing is all tied up. So I'm going to have to unwrap that and then I'll, I'll put it back in the back of the tank. Um, basically it just kind of goes in here like this. And then this elbow here connects to that joint there. So that's that's all you're see that's all you're not going to see cuz I got to turn this off. So, you can see I I've, I've put I went ahead and put the top on and I put the light on. Um, I haven't tried the light yet. We're going to find out how it looks here in a minute cuz I've got it I've got it plugged in over here. Boy, this place is a mess. Um, that's what happens when you're in the middle of a move. So, I I have not seen how this looks yet. So this this is the uh, the first indicator here if this is going to work or not okay so that's the full spectrum that's both white and blue um you can see it, there's a little bit of crap on the front here that we're going to have to clean off a little bit but not not much and then just the blue that doesn't look too bad my, my only complaint right now is that unfortunately this is exclusively hand controlled which means that if I want to turn on the blue, I have to come out here and physically do it. Now, those of you who know me know that I work at night. Look at this precious boy. Look at him. But yeah, th those of you who know who I am, which should be all of you, know that I work at night. And uh, I, I start working at 4 p.m. And I, I work a full-time shift. So... There really aren't any days that I can come over and just do that manually. I mean, I guess I could because I gotta. I, I try to feed them when I eat dinner. So in that in that regard, I guess I could just, you know, go from here to here. Um, it's just frustrating that I have to do that. I the other Marineland light that I've got, which is a similar spectrum, it's got the same. It's it's not the same style. It's actually it's called the Advanced LED. Um, but it's, it's got the same sort of thing. It's got a moonlight set of a blue LEDs and, uh, sorry, I had a little bit of a belch there and, um, you know, you could, yeah, I'm, I got the burps, man. <laughs> um, you could turn on the, it, it's got a set, set timer. It has a self timer on it. So you can turn it on and off at any given time. And that turns on the white LEDs or the blue LEDs or both, you know, at, at specific times and then turns them off at specific times. So this, this is a, a significant step down, um, which is a kind of a disappointment, but I mean, you can't really argue. So that's the way you're supposed to open it up. It, the, the top just sits on here. Um, I was thinking maybe I might put like a couple shrimp in there, but it's like, you see here, there's gaps. So I don't know that shrimp would be a good fit in this tank. Um, and besides which it's only a five gallon tank and I'm going to be putting a, a beta in there this this guy who has inexplicably hidden there he is <laughs> there he goes yeah he, he's going in this tank so uh, 
you know, we'll, we'll deal with that, I guess, when, when the time comes. But we're, we're not going to put any shrimp in here. I, I was thinking about it, but it's like, no, there's just not enough room. And they'll escape anyway. So, not a good thing. Um, plus, I've got two cats. They're not here right now because they're at my old place. Like I said, I'm in the middle of a move. Um, hopefully, they won't cause too much issue here. That, that's part of the reason why I went with this particular tank. I was actually thinking about getting the Aquion Ascent tank, but uh, it's got a big friggin' hole in the middle of it. Um, See, so because the, the, the way it's built, the top slants back, um, which is kind of neat, but then there's this gigantic hole in it so that the filter can fit in there, and it's like... I have two cats, you know, they, they, they get a little curious, well, one of them for sure would destroy that tank, um, but this one, this one's a little bit more secure, it's, so you see here, you've got the top on the filter part, and then you've got this, this glass part that just sort of slides back, um, I am glad that I went with this tank, I don't know how well it's going to hold water, people have said that, you know, the build quality of this particular style of tank is not very good but we'll we'll see we'll see and uh we'll see how badly that water pump how much of a current that creates too because we need to be able to limit that the uh so you've got that intake back there and that's big that that's the uh, complaint that a lot of people have is that that intake is so big it's it's really it is it's about like two and a half inches across maybe three inches across and uh you know, if your beta gets caught on that, especially if you've got like a real high quality half moon beta, you know, you're gonna, the, the beta fins are going to get caught on that and it's not going to be able to get out. Um, and I'm kind of worried about my, because if you could tell, he's a crown tail. And so I'm kind of worried that maybe his fins might actually get sucked in to that. So it's like, that's why I had to lower the power of the water pump so much. Um, but we've got... We've got some sand on the way. It should be arriving today, um, and I'll, I guess I'll just include that in the, the next portion of this video. Um, and I've got some dragonstone on the way, some plants on the way. We'll, we'll we'll include all of that. And obviously, we haven't filled this tank yet, so that'll be part of the same part of this same video. Um, we're not going to move the beta just yet. We'll we'll move him after the tank has had a little bit of time to establish and we've we've figured out how bad the uh, filter situation is so so hey so this stuff just arrived um fedex was extremely late with this but this is uh this is the substrate for the five uh yeah five gallon tank and uh it also came with one of these i i bought it 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 wasn't free with the bag i just i bought it, it just happened to come together but yeah so this stuff, fluorite black sand. Now I've never tried this sort of substrate before. We're gonna see how well it does, but first we gotta clean it because I've been told that this stuff is incredibly dirty. So we'll, we'll, we'll see how it looks when we open it up. I don't know, it looks like it's pretty clean, but uh, we'll, we'll give it a wash. This, I usually use this bucket to empty tanks and you see a, uh, a dad daddy long legs on the, on the wall of my bathtub here so yay we're uh getting some water in there and like immediately this stuff came off the side here and uh or came off the, the stack here and fell onto the side that's okay but yeah see all this wow yeah they were right folks were right this is this is kind of dirty um i'm glad i'm doing this so what i'm doing here um Obviously, I'm filling this bucket full of water, but what I'm going to end up doing is this water is going to overflow. And so you see this, this stuff gathered at the surface, all of that's going to flow out. And that's, that's why I chose to use this bucket, because it's got this nice little spout here. And hopefully, it'll actually do what it's supposed to do. We'll see. But it does look like this sand was a little bit dirty. By that, I mean it's... Uh, very, very dirty. Wow. I mean, look at that. Imagine trying to put your fish in this water. Like, that's that's just brown. Like, look at this. 
but that's why you, you always rinse your substrates, guys. You always rinse your substrates. And just let them go. There's there's a little bit of a, a clog in the water here. Hang on. Oh, it's because we're sit, sitting on top of the drain, huh? That's why. That's why. Well, that is that, but, you know. Didn't help that we were sitting on top of the drain. <laughs> the bucket here. Okay, so we're we're getting some of this dirty water out. Um, the water's starting to get a little warmer now because I've this shower is pretty terrible at uh, regulating water temperature. Um, but you know this this will work. I say showers. It's, it's it's a normal bath faucet, but th this is this is what I use to shower. So um, this is going to be a real friggin' mess. On the plus side, we got the surface stuff off. You know, we got we got the garbage off of here. Um, so I think at this point, really, the reason it's still so gross and brown is not. Well, it might still be dirt in the soil, but uh, I think it uh, dirt in the sand rather. But I think it might actually just be the sand. So I'm gonna very carefully. My hands all wet. I just grabbed my phone with my wet hand, but I guess I'm gonna have to. Um, I'm going to try and dump the water out here. Look at this. That's, that's sand. That's, that's actually sand that has come out. So this, this is not just dirt anymore. This is, this is some of the substrate here. So I'm, I'm not surprised. I'm a little disappointed that, uh, the substrate was that loose, but I'm also, I mean, it was dirty, you know, it was absolutely dirty. If I had tried to put my fish in that water, it would have been bad. Um, so this way we're, uh, we're, we're draining it a little bit here. We're, we washed it, so that's, that's, that was the idea, was we washed the sand, and you can see here, the sand that's coming out is looking pretty nice. And I just, I really hope that it actually is. And I really hope I can get this crap out of my bathtub. <laughs> Um, it'll drain. I just hope I can manage to wash it well enough. So this stuff, like I said, this stuff arrived the same day as the tank. Um, th this is still the same day. And I'm really surprised that FedEx was so late. FedEx is normally first around here, and UPS arrives super late. But actually, UPS arrived at like 2.30, and so... <laughs> I was like, what the hell? And then FedEx didn't arrive until it's like 8.45, almost 9 o'clock. PM. PM, not AM. I'm I'm not active, awake enough, P, uh, AM rather, to, uh, to be able to do any of this. So there's still, there's still some dirt in the water. We're, we're trying to dump it without dumping the sand here. If I can manage to do that, I don't know. Try to get as much of it out of here as I can without compromising the sand, which it looks like is what we're doing here now. So, alright. So there's gonna be a little bit of dirt. Yeah. Uh, can we, can we try again? Well, it just seeped right into the soil, right into the sand here. So, you know what? I'm gonna say it's probably okay. We don't need all, this is 15 pounds of sand. <laughs> like, you know, you could tell just in this bucket, this bucket is actually larger than our tank. This is, well, no, it's about, it's a similar size. This is actually four gallons. The tank is five, but it's taller, whereas this one's much wider. And you could tell, like there's, you know, three, four inches of sand in in here. So th this is way too much. So we're just, we're gonna go ahead and uh, th we're, we're gonna call this good. All the dirt's in the bottom anyway. We're gonna scoop it out with a cup and uh, that'll be it. So I've been using this, uh, it's, it's an old fashioned glass. I've had it for a while, but I've been using it to kind of get water out of my old tank, uh, the, the big tank rather, um, for acclimating fish. And uh, sorry, I'm a little winded. Today's been a very busy day. So, Boy, look at that. There's still standing water in there. What the hell? Okay, we're gonna carefully scoop some of this sand out of here. And just sort of let it sploosh into the tank here. And 
Oh my god, there's so much water and there's so much dirt. Uh Well, let's give it another rinse. I mean, look at this. This glass is filthy already. I mean, not just the sand, but there's, like, you can see there's brown in the water. Like, not just black, brown. So we're, we're going to give it another rinse. Well, y'all missed some of it because uh, my damn phone decided that I was recording upside down. It's like, no fucking dumbass phone. I'm not, I'm not recording upside down. I'm recording sideways. Come on. It doesn't help me better. Does it want to? Maybe. Does it succeed? Hell no. So now I'm, I'm just dumping the dirty water back into the tub here. Hopefully, I can get some of this sand that did spill out. Ugh, come on, there we go. Oh, thank you for reminding me to take my meds. Um, so again, yeah, you know, you see this here. And the sand that's in the, in the top here is, is uh, pretty clean, looks like. But it's like we can't get all this dirt out of here. There's just so much. Uh, so we're going to be very, very careful here. Uh, I wish this reminder would go away. I don't know if you guys can see it. Uh, we'll, we'll find out here in a minute, I guess. If you can see if my reminder... To take my pills is in the video. I'm trying to shake it out a little bit. Um, boy, that's a lot of dirt still. But the sand looks okay. The sand looks fine. And again, it tried to tried to record side or upside down there. It's like, please stop. You can't tell I'm I'm trying to brush the the dirt out again i'm i'm really not the best videographer in the world uh, i'm a pretty piss poor videographer in fact but we'll we'll try to work with this i guess it's pretty awful but we'll try to work with it because that's still dirt so yeah i'm gonna have to like I, i've seen reviews on amazon people talk about how they rinsed it four or five six times trying to get the dirt out of here because it's filthy freaking sand. I mean, again, you know, you look in there and it's like, I, I don't, it looks really dark. It's, it's hard to tell because it's black. It's black sand. It's supposed to be dark, but you can see like the places where it's white. That's not white, it's brown. It's, it's dirt. It's dirt inside the sand. And so, yeah, people are like, yeah, we've had to rinse it like almost seven friggin' times to get this sand to be halfway decent. And I'm like, I don't have time for that. Hopefully my filter can handle a little bit of dirt. Especially considering, you know, the filter's gonna be a, uh, or the water. <laughs> Boy, I'm, I'm, I'm out of it. The water's gonna be, uh, RO water. So... Um, at least at first. So we're gonna have a little bit of a... So the, the, the thing is that the water here is obviously not RO water. This is, this is water from my shower. But it's not tap water. So before everybody gets all upset, like, Oh my god, why did you use tap water for this? I didn't use tap water for this. I'm, I'm using the, uh, the, the water in my place. So I live way up in the mountains. Um, and again, most of you probably already know this, but I live, I live up, uh, in the Sacramento mountains in New Mexico, and, uh, I'm just giving it a little bit more, it's about an inch, inch and a half, so I'm giving it a little bit more substance to it here. Not really necessary, but I feel like I really want to, um, but yeah, I live up in the Sacramento mountains in New Mexico, which is... My location is about an hour away from Alamogordo. That's a long way away from any sort of semblance of civilization. Like, Alamogordo's like it. Um, so, it's like we don't get tap water out here. We don't get the same sort of water system that most people have in their everyday, 
excuse me, everyday lives. I don't know how well you can see this. I'm, I am cleaning it a little bit. Wow, what is that? Oh, it's my stack of stuff there. Okay, that's fine. Um, you know, so we don't have tap water in the conventional sense. We actually use well water here. And so this is well water. Um, so yeah, you might think, well, that's why it's so dirty. That's not why it's so dirty. Our well water is well filtered. Um, it's extremely hard, but it's not dirty. That's, that's, that's sand right there. That's, that's entirely substrate dirt. Um, so I'm going to get, I've got a little substrate scraper thing that I'm going to use here for a moment. So I swear I'm not normally this winded or scatterbrained or anything like that. Um, I'm just, I'm very tired. Th this has been a very long day. Um, a lot of moving happened today, which is good, but it's also, it's very tiring. And so I'm, I'm a little, I'm a little winded right now. I'm also noticing that we are like almost two to one here on this slope here. So I'm, I'm, I'm trying to even the slope out a little bit. Um, it's hard to tell cause there's no water in the damn thing. And there's so much dirt. There's so much dirt. Uh, so I'm going to, okay. I've got some rocks that are supposed to be, well, they will probably be here tomorrow. Um, the, the post office, they're, they're being delivered post, which is fine. I have no problem with the post office. In fact, I kind of prefer them over UPS. UPS and FedEx deliver here person directly, but uh, U US Post does not. I have to go down to the post office for that. But uh, we'll, we'll, of course, I did all that work to, smooth out the substrate and I'm gonna have to put something in there to keep the water from splashing all over the place. So I'm sorry I couldn't uh, hold the phone while I was pouring the water. I just, I, I didn't have the ability to do it. Mostly because this is how I have to pour the water. So when I said RO water, I wasn't joking. We have an RO system here. Um, it's not really for this, but I would love to put in one of my own if I knew where to put it. <laughs> So right now I just, I, I can't. So my boss has one and I've been, I've been using his RO system, but, uh, that's, that's what we're looking at right now, which is not okay. That is, that is extremely, extremely unokay. Um, that's RO water and that's filthy and that's just dirt from the sand. Now I, uh, you can tell kind of yeah look at that I've got the filter running um, there's a little bit of a cycle there it's it's a lot more than I anticipated it this is even on the lowest setting this is way too high for beta um, so I may have to replace that pump but I may have to replace it anyway because Jesus fucking Christ look at this I mean I don't know that the filter is gonna be able to handle this honestly Boy, I hope so, but wow, that's, that's bad. Um, we'll see here in a little bit. Um, I was talking last time about rocks. I've got rocks on the way, and it's like, yeah, you're not supposed to fill the tank before you have rocks, before you have all the, the hardscape and, and aquascape done. You shouldn't fill it, because then you might spill. And it's like, well, one, I'm not going to spill. I've got like an inch of space here. And two... I can very easily like take water out. I've got a siphon, you know, I'm not, I'm not inept. So that's, that's not a problem. But this, this is a problem. We've got green water here. <laughs> like it's, it's green and brown and just awful. Um, and so I'm kind of hoping the filter helps a little bit with that. Um, we'll find out. Back and I looked at the, uh, I don't know if that caught the beginning of my sentence there. I, I went back and I looked at the begin the uh boy, I am tongue tied tonight. Um <laughs> I read the bag of the the sand, the fluorite sand, and this is actually kind of what they expect. It's not this is um so what they say on the bot or what they say in the bag is you know, as with any substrate, it get gets a little dusty in transit but it was pre-washed 
And so this, this silt here is actually normal. Like it, this is exactly what they expect to be in the substrate. So they say, you know, to take cloudiness out, run the mechanical filter. I'm running the mechanical filter. Um, you can see I, I changed the orientation of the outflow a little bit. And now the, uh, the disturbance is down here instead of up here, um, which I might be better. I don't know. We'll find out. I put a little bit of clarity in there too, just to kind of try and speed things up. We'll find out. We'll see, I guess, in the morning what happens. Hey folks, uh, welcome back, I guess, to the same exact video. Um, you can see here, it, it's been two hours, roughly, closer to three, I guess, since I filled this tank. Um, and so the water's actually kind of clear, but what you can notice here, there is a fine layer of shit on top of my soil, on top of my sand here. And so that's, um, that's shit that has precipitated out of the water that was in the sand to begin with. So I'm gonna have to siphon it out. Um, but I just, I wanted to give a little bit of an update while the water is clearing. This stuff, I, uh, I don't know if I can recommend it because this is, this is really just a lot of crap. So I just had to share this. I, I got in to feed the fish and uh, oh boy. Oh boy, look at this guy. He's going nuts. Oh, he's so excited. Oh, they're they're all they're all waiting. They're like, come on, where's the food? Rocks. So yeah, we got some dragonstone here. Uh, we got we got five. Well, it was supposed to be five pounds shipped. Um, oh, there's a spider on this one now. But uh, yeah, there's there's what would have been five pounds of Dragonstone, except then there was this that came out of it when I went to wash the rocks. So there there would have been five pounds originally. Um, I mean, I'm still happy with the, the sale. I'm just, it's like, wow, a lot of it washed down the drain. Um, most of these rocks are a lot smaller than I anticipated. Um, they're not really what I would, had hoped for. It doesn't look like much right now um but I, I tell you what these rocks when they're wet the colors are stunning it's just so radically different from what it is here um and part of that too is just that i cleaned them so uh when, when they go in the tank they're gonna be gorgeous unfortunately they can't go in the tank just yet um so we've got this is this is not after 24 hours. This is after I just stirred up the sand to try and... So, after 24 hours, the water was clear. It was it was perfectly clear. It looked great, except that there was all this dust, which I showed you a little bit before. Um, you know, a fine layer of dust on the, on the bottom. The, the amount of dust that I've removed from this tank would have been about a millimeter total of dust on top of the surface of the, the sand here. Um, which is way too frigging much and there's still there's still just tons of it in the sand Which is why I, I, I rearranged the sand a little bit and in doing so it kicked up enough dust not sand Dust that the water is just milky now um, And so like this this is the blue light There's the white light and you could tell with the white light if it were sand the water would be black the water would be brown brackish it would be not white so this this white here this is all just dust that was kicked up by the sand or by, by me redistributing the sand and you know you can see here I've what's in there right now I've got narrow leaf java fern in there right now um, which is gonna look fantastic with the rocks um, there's gonna be some uh, you'll see you'll see when I'm done um, it'll look great but I've got the java moss in there right now basically just to keep it alive and it's not going to do a very good job of that because this is awful there you you can see here already like i literally i just reached in there and shook the plants to get the dust off of them before i redistributed the sand there's already that much dust on them like that's awful this sand this this substrate is just 
terrible. It is lousy with sand. Or with... <laughs> of course it's lousy with sand. It's lousy with dust. It's awful. I am going to leave an Amazon review for this sand that it just... Don't buy it. Do not buy this sand unless you're willing to put in several hundred gallons of water to clean it off. Like, it just, it is not okay. This sand is not okay. But once once the water clears and we can get all the dust out of there with, with the, there, there, is a, there is mechanical filtration going on, so we are getting du the dust out of the water. In addition to the dust settling, it's coming out of the water. We're, we've got flow up here. You can't really see it because the, there it is. So we got flow, we've got movement. The water is moving through the filter. It's just, it, it's not doing a very good job, man. There's nothing there. There is so much dust in this sand that it is settling out before the filter can actually get it out of the water. It's terrible. So yeah, I, I wouldn't recommend this sand to anybody. Anybody at all. Unless, like I said, you have multiple hundreds of gallons of water to burn and several hours of your time to get the the dust out of the sand. It just, it's not worth it. It is not worth it. On the other hand, I really wanted to illustrate this. So the tank water is clearer than I think I've ever seen it since I started adding fish to the water. Um, so you can see here we've got, um, there was a little scuffle just there uh, about the, there's there's an algae pellet there that the little mangano just pushed over a little bit. Um, the, the algae pellets always cause this the, these turf wars. Um, but I, I really wanted to illustrate the clarity of this water. This water is just, there are still particles in it. Like I could still see little, if you really, I don't know that you guys will be able to pick up on it because the footage is so grainy because it's dark. Um, because this is like midnight 30 that I'm filming this. Uh, so the lights are on blue, um, which is why we're getting any light at all. But yeah, it's, ooh, there was a, I guess I didn't get down there in time. But there was a little bit of a, a thrust there by the gurami. Um, anyway, so yeah, this this water, I've never seen it this clear. Not Not since I started adding fish has it been this clear and you know as much as I am ripping on the damned uh, sea chem substrate in the other tank another sea chem product did this and this this was a, uh, a it's a filtration packet called Puragen you don't put it in the water you put it in your filter it, it's supposed to replace your carbon I actually my filter has enough room that I was able to just stick it in there with the carbon and like three days three days and the water is just almost crystal clear whereas before it was milky I mean it was just it was terrible it was it was almost as bad as the damn five gallon tank is right now like and I'm not even exaggerating it, it was really that bad and I, I don't know why actually like I'd done water changes I'd try to get shit out you know all kinds of stuff to try to get the water clear and just put this stuff in the filter and holy shit it's clear like it is you can see the damn red tail black shark back there i took a picture of this guy the other day in that exact same position and the picture was so fuzzy that you could barely make out that there was a fish there and now it's like i mean you could still barely make out that there's a fish there but that's because he's black on a black background and <laughs> <laughs> and the gold gurami swam right into the frame. But yeah, it, it's it's phenomenal the amount of clarity that this one item, and I only used one. Like if I had used two, which my, my filter has two uh, carbon packets. If I had replaced the two carbon packets with two Puragen packets, th the water would have cleared up so much faster. Like I, I can't even describe how amazing this is. 
um, because I didn't, I, I, I was ashamed to film this tank before. Like, I, I didn't want to take any pictures or anything because it, it looked hideous. It was awful. And it was. It, it was every, well, not quite as bad, but almost as bad as the damn five-gallon tank is right now. And it's just, it's gone. Like, I, I can't, you can't argue with those results, man. That's phenomenal work. So Seachem does make some really good, high-quality products. It's just their substrate is terrible. <laughs> um, or at least this this particular substrate, this this fluorite black sand is just awful. But this, the Purigen, does what it said it was going to do. Um, supposedly it also takes out like nitrates and nitrites, which is actually kind of bad because I've got, you know, live plants in here. But it could be worse. And it, it certainly, I mean, this, I just, I can't complain about these results I just can't so you know one thumb down one thumb up they do some good stuff but they also make some crap so you know their chemicals are really good their filtration stuff is apparently really good their substrate is subpar that's all there is oh everybody I I have just spent the last hour and a goddamned half kicking and literally screaming at this fucking tank which is why my voice is so goddamned hoarse right now I hate aquascaping I if I never have to do it again it will be too soon but we have what appears to be a halfway decent tank right now it doesn't look great because this shit just wouldn't fucking cooperate with me. It tried so goddamn hard to kill me. And kill itself, too. That little fucking sprig back there, that little crypt back there, that's a crypt. I swear to God, that's a crypt. And that motherfucker stripped its own leaves while I was trying to put it in the soil because, Jesus fucking Christ, it would rather die than cooperate with me. But here we are, we got, oh, 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 my throat, ah, oh. we've got plants and rocks in the tank, and it doesn't look horrible, it just looks like it could have been better, it looks like somebody thought about it and tried and failed, because that's exactly what fucking happened. So... It's going to be a couple of days before I can put the fish in here, I think. I suspect it's going to be a couple of days before I can put the fish in here. I haven't put any chemicals in it yet. I haven't put any fertilizers. I certainly haven't put any bacteria in it because I was like, I, I, I'm going to be cleaning out the substrate still. I don't know how long that's going to take. But I am just done. I, I can't do this anymore. I'm, 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 oh, I, I, I can't express, words cannot express how fucking angry I am right now. And my hand, my left hand is just caked in so much super glue that my phone doesn't recognize my fingerprint anymore. It's just, it's so awful and you can see here like I used fucking tons of super glue and I did that because I had to this shit was right it would not stick it stuck to my hands more readily than it stuck to either the plants or the rocks <coughs> <coughs> oh 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 so I'm I'm gonna cut out this video here before I fucking give myself a heart attack trying to talk. And we'll make this up later. Alright, so we've given it about 24 hours to kind of settle out. And, uh, the water looks pretty nice, actually. The, the substrate's a little... I mean, you can tell back in the corner there, it's still dirty. But, at this point, I really just don't care. <laughs> Beyond the point of caring. <coughs> Sorry, I had uh, <coughs> been bat for lunch, so my throat is a little a little sore. 
anyway, um, I, I put a thermometer in here so I could tell, you know, what the current temperature is. It, I just put that in there so it's not reading correctly. Um, we'll, we'll see here in maybe an hour or so. Um, mostly that's just so I can gauge, like, you know, do I, should I take my thermostat and heater out of the other tank first, or should I take the beta out of the other tank first? Um, I mean, either way, the heater and the thermostat are going in this tank, but, uh, you know, the beta, is the beta going to be comfortable for a, an hour or so while the heater reacclimates the water, or would it be better if I just switch over, let the other tank, this tank here, where he is just sort of sitting there, um, cool down a touch and then transfer him over. Um, the water quality right now is excellent. I've, I've done the tests, everything looks good. Um, just at this point, I'm cycling the tank. That's all I'm doing. And I've been using this stuff, which is uh, another Seachem product. I know I keep plugging Seachem. Um, but <laughs> it's the, the largest concentration of bacteria that you can get on the market. And so I've been adding it to the tank. Um, and it recommends, like, you know, once a day, every day for a week. So that's what I've been doing. Um, and it will, it, it'll, it'll establish itself. It'll take control, take hold much more readily than just letting the tank sit here for a month. Um, and also, you know, much more readily than transferring some of the substrate over to this tank, which, as you can tell, is not really going to look all that great. <laughs> Um, but as is, th I mean, this tank, it looks fine, it looks great, actually, um, here in about a week, these, uh, these crypts will start to, uh, reacclimate. hopefully we don't get too much crypt melt, I, I do expect some, but, uh, hopefully it's not too bad, and of course we had a little bit back here, that, that one leaf is a crypt plant, it just, it was a tiny, tiny, tiny thing, and... That was the most frustrating plant because every time I went to go put it in the substrate, one leaf would fall off and it still wouldn't actually stick. So you can tell, you know, the substrate around it, the sand around it is kind of disturbed. That's because I was just, I was so mad trying to get that in there. The others, it, it wasn't nearly as bad, but that one, that one was really rough. But it'll, it'll reacclimate and you can see some of the job moss back there. It'll, it'll acclimate and then, uh... I said in about a week, well, not a week from today, but in about a week from when I got this tank. So I, I'm gonna I'm gonna put them in there Tuesday. I, I'm just gonna tell you it's gonna be Tuesday. So uh, we'll see it then.